this year here we can transpose columns into rows and rows into columns variables into observations and observations into variables so in this procedure by default it will transpose all numeric variables okay this is the syntax prop transpose data data set name some options var so here we can select the variables to transpose so which variables you want to transpose you can select here only those copy here we can select the variables without transposing them some variables i don't want to transpose just i want to take it as it is so we can use copy statement next id to transpose observations into variables okay i want to transpose the class data so in the class we have these variables so five and here these three are the numeric what is the default nature by default it will transpose all numeric variables the okay, capture i want to transpose the class data set and i want to save the results in this new data set class results see by default all numeric variables transposed actually in the data these are the columns age height weight but see now in output these are the rows age height these are the default variable names column 1 to column n okay i want to transpose the selected variable age and gender one text variable also you can write here selected variables only can transpose okay i want to transpose these two variables only remaining variables i want to show in the output as it is without transpose so these three variables as it is without transposing only these two variables are transposed okay in the name variable these are the observations i want to transpose these observations into variable names here id statement id that variable name this is these observations transposed into variable names okay observe here same procedure first of all i'm using without any statements next time using with one statement where next time i'm using the same procedure with two statements next time i'm using the same procedure with three statements so here no limit and and statements are not mandatory also if it is required then only you can use a statements in so many procedures same for example if you're writing like this means procedure of applying on the class data set by default it can select all numeric variables and for all numeric variables it can calculate some default statistics see so, these are the numeric variables age height weight for all numeric variables these are the statistics okay only for selected variables i want to do the analysis then we'll use var statement only for age variable Okay, only for age variable I want to do the analysis, but according to the group wise, then we can use class statement also, gender wise. The so gender wise analysis on the age variable, female wise, male wise, like. So observe here also. Initially, I'm using the procedure without any statements. Next, with one statement. Next, two statements. Next, three statements, like that. So statements are not mandatory. As per our requirement, we are using statement. So now, how to create macro parameters for this kind of process? Okay. So this example will be used for swimming. Okay, directly I'm creating the positional parameters now. I got an idea, so I can create directly. Now I need to create the macro block, and we can do it everything. Percentage macro and macro name. so this is the data set name result data set and here i will take one parameter as a choice that is a statement here 
So these are the parameters. So data set name, result state. So which one you want to take as a choice? That should be in the last position here. Okay. Option macro store SAS macro store is equals to library name. Here I want to save here. Okay, see here now. This is the TRA transpose. To recall the macro. First of all, percentage macro name. I want to transpose class data set and I want to save the results in the C1 data set. Actually, here three parameters data set name, result, statement. But I'm giving the value for only two parameters data set name, result. I'm not giving anything for statement. No problem. It will work. It will transpose the class data set by default all numeric variables and it will save the results here. See? All numeric variables transposed. Okay, next time. Where height. Okay, now say data set name class. The result C2. And I'm using the statement also. I want to transpose these two variables only. Height, gender. Say so only these two variables are transposed. Okay, if you are using multiple statements, okay, see here, we are using where statement. After the statement, there is a semicolon. But then we can use other statement. Same logic here also. Semicolon. Next, I'm using copy statement also. Order the other variables, weight, name, age. I want these variable as it is. Okay, even if it is showing red color, no problem. It will work. It is showing these variables as it is here. Weight, name, age. And these two variables are transposed. And I want to transpose these objections to variable names from the name variable. So, so again, semicolon. ID. ID statement also. See, these objections become variables. So, data set name, it's a result data set, and this total one is a statement. Yeah. Until unless you use a comma, it will take as a single parameter only. So, no problem. So, based on this logic, you can create a macro parameter for any procedure in SAS, utility process, reporting stat, for anything you can create a macro parameter. Just this is the logic. You can take one parameter as a choice. If you want, you can give the value there, other is not required. This is an advantage. This is the important point here from this example. Macro parameters for transports. 